makes no difference what you're going through. You're gonna make it. God's gonna see you through. Hold your head up. Put a smile on your face. This is another test. Put your business in the streets, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Praise God. That was Norman Hutchins, everybody. Norman Hutchins, God has a blessing. He said, get ready. I said, stay ready. Stay ready for your blessings. Because if you believe, you will achieve. We already... Ladies and gentlemen, we talked about number one, branding, two, marketing, number three, psychology, number four is simplicity. Now number five, but I must tell you, you can get flat out rich in one through four, but if you're talking about, baby, you're talking about Taking it where the wealth is. Number five, I'm going to ask you a question. If one, two, through four was the bomb and you knew that you can do that, you got it all the way down to simplicity, what's going to happen after simplicity? If you keep operating under the word and under the sound of my mouth, simplicity, if you work under that system, all the way to Brandon Martin Psychology and Simplicity. Number five is guaranteed to happen. It happens with all the big boys. The Walmarts, the McDonald's, the Kmart's, the Quick Trips, the Stop and Shop, the Hangar Room, the Bunny Hops, the, anybody that decided, <laughs> Heavenly Body Product, Chronic Killer, happened to me, it happened to me. It's been happening to me for years and years and years. What is going to happen if you operate under those four elements, the first four elements? Number five is a guaranteed cold-blooded winner. And that's duplication. When you duplicate yourself, especially in business, it creates a funnel kind of thing. I mean, it just speeds up. There's nothing you can do about it. Once you understand systems, and this is how I was taught when I was 10 years old. When I was 11, I mastered this. He said, if you understand the systems, brother, systems, what make, you don't have to have a, a whole lot of systems, just the one that's making you that paper. Those systems, when you duplicate them, Let's get there. Uh, Mark, I want you to come here for a minute. I'm going to show you what happens. We're going to make it real simple for you. This is as simple as I can do it. This is duplication. This is my son, Mark. I knew whatever I was doing, I was working hard for my children. And my children's children. If you don't have any children, 
you got to know what children you're going to be dealing with so you can, and your legacy will go forth through duplication. That's one of the greatest forms of flattery is duplicating with somebody. This is why when people take my ideas and use them like these five principles of the international marketing, it's important that you use them. You teach each one, reach one, each one teach one, and before you know it, it's so on, and so on, and so on. Now, he didn't know, what, what is it, 44 years ago, that I was going to be in a position to get past him down a company. But this is what duplication, when he has his children, I, they'll be sitting on my lap and they'll be running around me. But I said, hey, you're the brand. Now, how are we going to market you? you, you you're the money. You're the future money. But how do you feel, Mark? Just real quick, we're not going to put you on the spot. But, well, I mean, when you was younger, when we remember, <clears throat> you wasn't, <laughs> when you come around me, you didn't know, quite know what I was doing, yeah? But what made you realize at some point? Man, I mean, back then, back then, it was it was like an inclination, like you, it was natural. Like I knew you was doing something. I knew you was making, you know, out trying to make money and making money. But I just didn't have, like you were saying, I didn't have a grasp on like the systems or any, anything like that. I didn't know what I was only a kid. You know, I didn't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. But uh, I knew something good was happening. Yes. And even as you got a little older, the system still meant something. You didn't know what was going on. But then when you realize what's really going on, and you say how much energy it takes to duplicate yourself, then once you realize that he needs to do the same thing to his offspring, right? It's just a natural phenomenon. You teach this, this system here. Thanks, sir. This system here is, you know, it's like the have and the have not. Either you develop a system that works. This system is designed for you to eat as a, a soft entry, a soft approach. People that know, and you, you know, there's going to be people that just don't know what what are you talking about? But they're in business, and you see them doing business things. It's your, it's in your best interest to educate them. And even if they resist, now you might say, you sure you don't want to hear about this because it's going to help your business grow. See, the more you teach the five principles of the international market, you're going to get sharp. You're sharp. I had a business associate in my office this morning, and I, I know about his life story and stuff like that, right? But I made sure I never truly gave up on him. But there was times when I said, look, man, I ain't talking to you no more. Go on, go on. And I done kicked him out of here, right? But he come back because I said, listen, I can see if I was showing you or teaching you something that was going to destroy your life. But these principles matter. You are the brand. If you like it or not. I said, you done been out there and people understand your brand and then you, you can't hop in. No, well, well, let me say it again. You can hop in and out. But people know that really know that know that you ain't doing your business. And you're not trying to duplicate yourself. And you're not trying to. But they say that your brand, you marketed that brand as such. You you created that brand. If you showed up at this uh, this bar every day, or you went to the crack house, you think nobody see you, right? And then you go back into the business world. You know, people people see you over here. People see you over there. So you can't run. You can't hide. You think you can hide. You think you're running, but you're always going to run back into yourself. And then because you created that brand. You marketed that brand. You dealt with people to psychologically evaluate you to be that brand. 
And then you made it real simple for them. But if you have children and you're trying to educate somebody else on your system, how you're doing things, then you're going to cause a negative effect. You're going to duplicate, you know, Nipkin poops, right? Non-thinking people. So whatever our brand is, as we marketing it and we conning people into or letting people know who we are so they can deal with us on a psychological thing so they'll know where you at and then they see that you're making it real simple for them and then they can see they said the fruit don't fall far from the tree. That's just the way it is. You're only teaching your your offspring and people that are dealing with you, you're teaching them how to handle you. You and then all of a sudden that's where the duplication. They say, oh, I'm just going over there and they'll, they'll, they'll do this, they'll do that, right? Because you created, a du you duplicated a system to get people to re that react to who you are. So when you come into this, this uh, system, what's going to, what's going to really, really happen to you as you begin to uh, minister uh, that information to someone else. And I, and I encourage anyone, these five elements of international marketing, to please share this with your children. Get your children. You, I, Mark, you want to do the five principles of international marketing? Do you know them? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's part of your world. I've been teaching it ever since, uh, you know... <laughs> It's imperative that you begin to duplicate yourself, teaching people your systems. How so? Because you're going to easily say, "Hey, I want you to meet somebody that uh, is doing very well in the business now. Uh, put it in front of the camera. This is so and so. She's down on the corner of so and so and so and so. She's doing a great job. She got her own." They say, "How did we meet?" Then you start asking, her, "Well, we met." One day you walked in and uh, you sprayed your car and said, excuse me, can I get your opinion on this, this fragrance? And the rest is history. Now I'm making $10,000 a month because of Keith Gatlin. You mentioned name dropping because of Mark Hagens. Because of Cliff, because of somebody. You know, so your, your, your mindset, like I said, if you think one through four is where the money's at, you get flat out rich. But if you're talking about wealth, it's number five. Duplication is the key to everything. If you're talking about wealth, even if you're talking about getting rich, you just gotta do it. Because duplication is where exactly where the big, big money and how the big boys and the big girls do it. It is off the rip the scale when you start to duplicate yourself. To have people and blessing people. And that's where the duplication comes in. You st people start blessing people and it's just, uh, listen, I want to duplicate myself in a way that all of America, that love America, they have a clear understanding that it's time to get our country back. And the best way to do it is do our youth. And the best way to do it is teaching them the five principles of international marketing. So our children can, for, the, for a change in our life before we move on to glory, that God has gave us a tool that all of us can use. The five principles of international marketing is news you can use.
is every day. It's pliable. It's pliable to everybody, especially the youth. You get those. You got young older kids. Perfect. Now you can, and you got young kids. Perfect. Now they can help. If you have all young kids, perfect. Teach them young so they can grow up and duplicate. They're gonna love your system, and you're gonna love for them when they would say. I'm, I'm healthy enough financially to move this way so we can keep the pipeline going. Just duplicating, duplicating. I am so, so happy to be able to teach and educate this system to you, your family, your loved ones, to take this this product, the five principles of international marketing, and be able to teach it through the masses to help our communities grow in a way that they you thought they would never grow, and that you have your fingerprint on it, not your thumb print, your fingerprint. You gently touch the hearts and the blessings of people all, all over your co community, taking the neighborhood and turn it into a community. This is a vision that I had since I was a little boy, to be able to see other people grow and flourish. And it's happened in real time because we took the time to understand that we need simplicity. If we love teaching, we teach anyway. We do it on a daily basis. It's something that we do without even knowing that we're doing it. So to educate each other, to recruit people, to educate them. You know, people that are recruitable, are, they're, they're like waiting for somebody to come and say, how would you like to make some money? And they say, God told me, I was just praying. And there's people like me and like you that take advantage of an opportunity to teach our communities how to grow. And we're doing it grassroots, ladies and gentlemen. When you understand in your brain, in your soul, in your mind, that is grassroots economics at its best. For someone to be able to educate me on the five principles of international marketing, being so young, and being so young to receive this information, we take our kids for granted. Kids are smart. We give them too many toys, too many games, too many movies. We're using them to, to pacify these children instead of getting them in front of the TV, letting them listen to something like this. You know other people that have that need information like this on another level, on another dimension. And we're able to come and join and teach three ways conference calls is going to happen. I'm going to give, look, 10... 15 minute sizzle calls to the world and say this is what you need to know. We're talking about this topic tonight. Let's hit it and quit it. A couple of people might ask questions. And you know, I know you what you're thinking. 15 minutes? Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh <laughs> Most people that have a desire to make money and to take care of their families need this. Call them. Get on it. Tell them to follow. Get in here. The more we have following, the better. Our communities, we need to release the information anyway in order for us to grow as a, a as one entity. We gotta have it. 
I want to be able to travel and come to y'all's town and have conferences just on the topics. Not coming in and say, hey, make sure Heavenly Body Products come see us now. This is for people that you know, you love, and you trust. That you want to make sure that they listen, go on to YouTube and listen. Go on YouTube and put in Sir Media Group with no spaces. Start looking at those videos. The ones that matter to you. Especially the ones that are real clickish. Like the community stuff, like kids, our youth, and what teachers are teaching. And, you know, and it's not their fault. That's their system. Their system is to teach the way they teach. That's their curriculum. That's what they do. But what we do is we teach economics, grassroots economics. At its very best, this is this five part series is for someone that really serious about their wealth and their well-being. There's things that we need to consider like even fitness and exercise. See, it's all duplicatable. You mo my, my, my sons, my daughters, they work out. It's part of the money-making strategy. Not trying to get a high school skinny and all that craziness just to get a little bit more healthy. I, I think we got a caller. Hold on. Excuse me. Caller, you on the air. <laughs> you said, let me go in and get a couple of these minutes, huh? <laughs> yeah, man, let me go and give me a couple of these minutes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, man, I just I just wanted to call in, bro, since this was day number five and the last day of the you know, five principles of our international market, bro, just to just to commend you, man, on such a such a great job, you know, Thank for you. the week, bro, because I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like I said, man, I've been watching these videos with the minimums of two times. You know, but I just I just put it on just replay. Right? But what's the maximum? What's the maximum times you watch one of these broadcasts? Uh, one of them I think I watched about four times. I mean, well, but why? Man, it was just so much information being covered. You know, it, it was so much information being covered, and I'm I'm every day I go out right and I listen to these videos, I'm implementing them into my. To, to, to my daily conversation, my daily plan of execution, and I see how it's working. So the thing is, right, when, 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 when you're conscious of your brand, right, you're conscious of your marketing, you know, you have to have the, the grasp of the knowledge of the power of these tools so that you can have the psychology part. Because if you don't know what you're talking about, when people start asking you questions, you're going to feel dumbfounded. You know, it's just like going to college and not uh, in high school or any grade and have a test and you're not being prepared. So when I watch these videos multiple times, it's preparation for me to go out here and do the job that I signed up to do. You know, it's like, I mean, business business is like any other skill set or trade. You got to study it and you got to practice it correctly. Absolutely. You see me jumping out here doing stuff, bro. You know. And you know what? You know, the, uh, you got the business is business, and then you got monkey business, you know? If you're, if you're out there demonstrating monkey business, people pick up on that. When you're serious about putting your brands on your marketing tools, and you're serious about getting a magnetic size, you're, all you're doing is assisting the community in receiving the things that you desire them to have. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Dig that. Absolutely. They desire products like what we have and our services, whatever they are. 
But if we don't have a, a outlet for them to say, oh, I'd love to spend my money with you. And today, I want to spend my money with you. Do you have some of that with you? Or can I have your business card because I heard all about you? Right. You're just giving them another opportunity to be a part of your life and your systems. Am I right about that? That's absolutely right. And it's all, it's all technical things that we should be doing anyway. Practical, everyday, simple, Simon type of things. And to, edu to execute the sale is about the money. It's the execution. You know, people say, yeah, down the wheel. I said, no. At the close of that conversation, you want to see them reach into their pocket or pocketbook and give you some capital. Mm -hmm. At the end of the conversation, is that cash or credit? That's right. <laughs> That's what you're on this with. And what you show a, 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 another human being the system and the art of the sale, and they appreciate how you treated it, what will happen is those people are most likely, if you close the deal by saying, can I have your first name, last name, email address? And they said, what you need that for? So I want to invite you to one of my parties and say thank you for being supporting me and maybe this opportunity that maybe you would like to make some money. And they remember that experience that when they come at, come in as one of your recruits, they're already trained. Easy, simple, fast. How, what do you think, Keith? That's it, bro. That's it? Yep. Right. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Because, you, you know what, man? When, when, look, when, when, you, when, you, when you familiarize yourself, you saturate it, your mind, with these five principles, and you come into contact with a customer, man, you 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 be going through the five principles, you know, in your you know just 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 in your movements, and the people just be spellbound. And I and I know, look, when, when they start asking less and less questions, and they just be smiling and listening to you talk, hey man, when you ask, well, they gonna they gonna reach in their pocket and hand it over to you. They because just, because why? But what's now why? Because the art of the sale. Mm -hmm. And the art of recruiting. They, they love it. They said this is the smartness that I need in my life. Right? Bye. You, Bye. You, get, you entertain them with knowledge and wisdom that's so powerful but so easy to deliver. See, people are looking for, wow, did you see that? Did you hear that? Wow. Am I right? Exactly right. If you can't wow me, what are you doing? Because you can't win without a wow. It's hard to win without a wow. Because the customer... A business associate and a recruit, and once they say, wow, that was the experience, they say, I'm going to tell somebody else about you. That's true. We're going to extend the show today, the broadcast. So if you want to call in 404, we, we're at the, end of the, at the end of the five days. Now we're going to enjoy chopping it up. So if it's me and you, keep it just me and you. If you're out there, you want to join in the conversation, you've been following, you're on the fifth day, don't call in, you only want to watch one broadcast now. Unless it really makes something to you, you had to join in. But I want the per people that watched all five episodes. 404-286-6700. That's 404-286-6700. And I'm making the decision, Keith, to really take this show on the road and uh, put it on a broadcast where people are calling in from all over the country, all over the world, just opening it up. 
They want to talk about the five principles to international marketing. And they want to challenge me on a couple of things. <laughs> God is awesome, baby boy. Ooh, all the time. You know, you know, I was, I was uh, early in the show. You know, when you, you know, when you had Mark, you know, you had Mark come sit next to you, man, and I said, "Wow, you know, that's 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 where it's at, right there, bro." You know, because in my mind, immediately I flashed back right to all the times, man. Maybe like I was in the, I was in the hood. Maybe I stopped at a store or something like that, and I thought about. How many times I'm saying I saw little kids, you know what I'm saying, particularly little boys, you know, parents already had them sagging at three, four years old, you know, had the cornrows going to the back, you know, man had a little gold chain on them, you know, but they, they had little boys dressed up looking like little thugs, man, at four and five years old. And I said, man, that, that's a duplication right there. Right there. Any, everything is being duplicated. Absolutely, right? absolutely. But you duplicate. No, keep talking. Absolutely, I, I love what you're saying. Go ahead. Yeah, but, so you know, you know what? What? And I, and I mean, but well, this, this show, this show, it, it's about economics. You know what I'm saying? But it's also about the, uh, the, the the sociology, you know, of us and the economics that exists within, you know, our sociology. Absolutely. You know, and the psychology. So, uh, But it only makes I mean, sense. But it only makes sense to teach it to one another. What? Think about it. Economics is where it's at. We will chase dollars for the rest of our life. We're going to be thinking about money, how to get it, and how to spend it. All you got to do is make it simple, y'all. Make it real simple for you to receive your money. Follow the five principles. There's a lot more inside those five principles. You know that, don't you? There's a lot more inside of it. So that's where the talk show and all that stuff is going to come in so people can really express. We are at a point in our life where we got to take take charge of our thought processes. The, the five principles of the internet is the easiest system that I have ever noticed, ever came across if you're going to teach the whole, the mass appeal. If you're going to teach economics to people around you, you gotta have it easy, simple, and fast. And once you got that, you can't fail. The masses begin to say, hey, I can do it too. If my mother at 50 years old started talking about branded marketing psychology, all this stuff, and change her world, change her life around, and go from this to this, in no time flat, because it's going to be quick. It's going to seem like, man, a year, two years, but at the end of that ride, you'll say, wow, I did it. Not only did I do it, I taught others how to do it. I feel great about myself. I really do. I want to thank God for the opportunity to be involved in a movement that makes sense and dollars. What are you thinking? Absolutely right, bro. Absolutely. I mean, look, like I, I was talking to a business associate last yesterday evening, you know, when I was, I was telling like some of the things you were saying, you were telling me, particularly about time, you know, and I said, what else is it as adults? What is it? What else is it that we're going to do with our time other than be about the business or take and keep our business? That's because all. When you think about it, man, we don't have time to be wasting on foolishness. Wasting on things that are not going to positively impact our households and the, and, and the community that we live in. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> Come on now, but it ain't even benefiting yourself. That's what I'm saying. When I say nobody, I mean nobody. Nobody. Man. I said, come on, sister. We, 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 we got to get there in the proper perspective. You know? It's, it ain't special we already have you. You know? Look, we don't have no more terms for the monkey business. Right? You know? We sold out on the monkey business. Look, the monkey business show is sold out. Yeah. It's... it's uh... It has been gone. They done they pulled that plug a long time ago. But you see the remnants of monkey see, monkey do. You know? If that is the if that's the essence that we're living in a monkey see, monkey do world, then teach the the business that is not monkey business, you'll get better results and at, at least in your small pocket of community of people. At least the people around me have some working knowledge of how the economy really works. Period. If I'm going to come in contact with you, I want you to be smarter than when, when, I, when I came in your life. I want you to say, wow, even if it was 30 seconds. I seen this guy with electronic name tag on, and it was just unbelievable. You should have seen it. It was, wow. <laughs> you ain't even never seen the person or even talked to the person. They're telling people already. And then now, because they told their story about this guy or this lady walking around town with this electronic name tag, I said, I think my brother was talking about you. Was you over there so-so and you had it on? Yep. Hey, can I get your business card? I want to know what you know. It's a numbers game, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't go through the numbers, meeting people, new people, and they, in my case, new people meeting me because of my electronic name tag and my, and my uh, embroidery, and they, you walk that path. One person after another. Business cards are flying. The most simplest way to get your, your marketing out is a business card to fly you got in your hand. And it gives you a chance to dialogue with the person you're passing the card to. And then following up with that, that, that prospect within the first 24 to 48 hours. No later than 72. You want to keep that information fresh in their mind. They say, if you'd like to know more, I'd like to meet with you. And this could be a banker. You don't even know. And they said, uh, they're just playing incog incog Negro, right? Right? And they playing it soft and they waiting to see incognito. What is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, that ability to touch someone's life at a point in time that was designated, that ink, it was written and the ink was dry, this was meant to be and close the deal. And later on you find out this is a banker. Now they're ready to get down with you because you're talking about uh, community business. What do you think, kid? Kid? It, it happens just like that. Just like yeah, that. It's just like that. You know, I mean, because, like, like what you said, you know, look, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. So if you're constantly doing these things, you're constantly working that system, because, look, it's a, it's a whole lot of established people, right, who have jobs, professional jobs, that do not know these principles. That look, need, and need to know it. The word, look at the script. And need to know it. That's right. 
They it don't. Was, that's why you don't. Your job is to what? Keep teaching it. <laughs> and watch how many more you know business associates you have, not friends. Right. I'm talking about anybody. I don't care how old you are. If you let an eleven year old walk in, ten year old walk in with an electronic name tag on, what the, what would most people do? Huh? Hey, they would do the same thing to them, and probably more that they do to me. And you you can pass on so many your your mother, your father, your family. It's a family business. You pass on so many business cards like they call my father. They take good care of you. Am I right or wrong? Am I right? Hey, bro, you're absolutely right. Training your youth to be the best. To be able to market for themselves. They understand the brand. They understand the psychological warfare. And they know the simplicity so they can duplicate and keep getting sales coming in Sales coming in, recruits coming in, recruits coming in. Do both, ladies and gentlemen. You want to you wanna recruit first so that you're guaranteed to get the sale. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that system? If you walk up on 100 people today and you said to them, excuse me, do you know anybody that needs some extra cash? And they say, yeah, me. What do you think is going to happen at the end of that conversation? Because you done sprayed the car, you done let them smell it, he or she. They're excited about it, and you said, listen, remember the first question I asked you? They said, uh, yeah, where you at? Do you need some extra cash? And what did you say? You said, I said, is that still true? Because I would love to show you and teach you and educate you on a system that's going to be guaranteed that you're going to be able to take care of your children and your children's children. Well, what do you think about that? Okay. That's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. And, 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 and look, and, and once again, once again, what else are you going to talk about when you're meeting people if you're not doing something like this? These are how you close deals. Oh. This is how you recruit business associates all over the world, though. This is not just a, a regional thing, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about closing the deal on an international scale. Let me tell you something I thought about, you know, uh, particularly this morning, also as the week has progressed. I said... These international, these five countries of international marketing, if the parents would learn this here, right, it would also help them to become better parents. Whoa. Because, see, what, what we have to understand, right, when, 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 you have, when you have kids, right, and even if, and, and it's, it's a beautiful thing, right, because really you need to learn as much as before you have kids. But everyone should understand the business of self. Come on. And, and, and like on day one, right, you, you, you said something, right, you, you just going through that, you know, in like a little, a little after, after the broadcast conversation. He was like, man, listen, what's, what's, what's the number one brand in the world? And I'm, in my mind, I'm like, next thing I'm thinking like Walmart, I'm thinking like Microsoft, I'm thinking like, you know, these other major Fortune 500 companies, you said, yourself. <laughs> then what? How did that make you feel? Hey, Keith. Then we might have lost it. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. 
working. So when I said when you when you when I said yourself, how did that make you feel after that? With, with, with me, with me, right? Just, yeah, just you. Know, how did you feel? You know what? I already know that. Right. But how did it make you feel when I said it? And, well, you know what? You know what? It was it was the answer to the question that you were asking. So I was like, okay, well, that, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. Because I, I already feel that way. You know, me personally, because you, you, you're not going to catch me out in public or in private doing something that I'm not going to be proud of, that I don't, that, that I don't, that I'm not going to be cool with my kids knowing about. I'm not going to be cool with, 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 with my wife and my family not knowing about. You see what, what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm always conscious of how, how my brand of me is being displayed. Yes. Yes, and, and that is... That is very important. I'm looking at this. Uh, see, when I when I look when I first heard this when I was a, a kid, right? And I'm saying to myself, "Well, really, does it really really work?" So I had to test the thing, right? But getting to meeting people and now sharing it. And the experience I got from people is that when I heard it, they the first thing was like, it's confirmation now. And that the sense that it makes in the world, I'm talking about in the world, the sense that it makes as one speck of a, something on the planet. It made all the sense in the world. And the thing that it, when that happens, it makes all the cash in the world. You'll you'll catch dollars that you thought you would never catch because of your brand and how you realized that you are the the deal maker or the deal breaker. What do you think about that? Yeah, either one of those. You're the deal maker. Or you the deal breaker? Which one are you? Yeah. I yeah. make deals. Ooh, ooh. I ain't trying to kill them, you know? And you ever yeah. see somebody do something, get ready to sell you something, or, or, or try to bring you into their loop, and then they, they say something or do something to blow the deal? You start arguing with them a little bit, they want to argue with you over something. And the thing that they wanted to sell you now, they can't get it to you. Because you they'll turn you off. That ever happened to you? Thank you so much. you talking to a company on the phone, they're trying to get some money out of you, but then they start talking ignorant. That means ignorant. And then they blew the deal because now you said, "What did you say? <laughs> did you just say what did you, what did you say?" I said, "said I said, well, no, thank you. I'm not interested. Click." Right. Because if you think you can say that to me, you'll say that to everybody. You'll say that to anybody, even your mama. So you gotta be smart. When you're negotiating deals, when you're recruiting, you got to be careful. That means if you're knowledgeable, you don't have to worry about being careful. That's right. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. That's true, man. You walk out with dignity. You walk the land in dignity, you lay your head on a pillow at night with dignity. Period. From day in to day out, professional, five principles, understand the, the, the language, understand the power of it, and how it re relates to your 
Bottom line, how you closing deals quicker, faster, easier. And it's all natural. It's all natural warfare. You just understand it, take your time with it, you know, and then you see your your, your sales go up. You see your recruiters, your, recruit, your recruiters are, are, are plentiful. Your cash flow is intact. And you're going to love that. What do you think, Keith? Man, I'm signed up already, bro. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm like, I'm like that. Uh, what they call it? That, that hell, the hell restoration commercial. You know, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm not only, I'm not only promoting this thing. I'm a client. I'm gonna use this product. Yeah. You know, I'm not just the owner. I'm the client too. That's right. I'm a client. Yeah, because you know, I, I burn the oils in my house. You know, I spray that pressure in my car. You know, I wear, I wear the body oil. You're a product of your environment. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, so I, I believe in what it is I'm involved with. You know, this, this like yesterday, right when I was talking to these ladies in the camp that stopped me with, with my name tag. I said, "Tell me something." I said, "Isn't it true?" No matter what the condition of a person's car they want it to smell like, they say, absolutely. And I said, what about your house? I said, no matter how big or small, they don't you want your house to smell like? Mm-hmm. They absolutely. Well, there it is. Psychology <laughs> at its best. That's psychology at its best. If you you into this product, into this, this these product lines, that is is magic, magic, magic. That's love. And when you got that kind of pitch, you ain't going to never lose. Say, you know, and say, how would you like to make some extra cash too? Making your car smell good. Making your house smell good. You can make money doing that too. Always closing the deal. You know how many times I heard people say that to me? I said, you always think about closing the deal, huh? I said, what else is it? What is it? That's what we do. We're in business to make money. We're in business to so we can take care of our retirement. We're in business to make sure that our offspring and people are blessed when we pass the test. When we move on to the other side. That we leave something behind, and it's called a legacy. You get this. Everybody's gonna leave a legacy, but which one is yours? What's your legacy gonna say about you? And you know what? You can write that legacy and live your legacy way before you die. They, that's what we call a living legend. Am I, am I right? A living legend. That whatever your legend is, when you die, it's intact while you're alive. And you keep writing chapters to your, your own obituary. Don't let somebody else write your story. And if you didn't like the story that you were telling now, rewrite it. If being born was a bad experience, try being born again. Just try it. If you try it, you might like it. And maybe you can be a student of the game if you choose to change. All up to us, ladies and gentlemen. We are the people, the person that we've been looking for. We are that person that we seek. We are the blessing that we say that we are. I am who I am, 
who I say I am. Can I get a witness? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. And live it. <laughs> Go ahead. And live it till it's fullest. Till the wheels fall off. Ride that. Ride it into the sunset. Because you are the sunset. Can I get a witness? Amen, brother. <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> but it's all true if you're living that life. Listen, you can't turn this stuff on and off. I tell somebody, I'm not a preacher. I'm just a teacher. So don't get mad at me if I say something one way one time and I say something else another time. I'm still teaching. I didn't claim to be nobody's preacher. But I proclaim that I'm a teacher. I know one thing. Every, everybody is preaching something, though. Absolutely. But what are you teaching? But what are you teaching while you're preaching? That's right. That's the that's where the rubber meets the road. What are you teaching while you preaching? What does your duplication say about you? What does your business partners do? They sound like you, look like you, creative like you? Are your children a product of you? Take a good hard look in the mirror. I call it the mirror syndrome. Look in it. Get real close up on it. Get so close you can see the fog on the mirror and look straight into your old pupils and, and say to yourself, am I who I say I am? Or am I just a product of my environment? And when you come back off that mirror, You'll know if you love yourself a little more or you still shame of yourself. So you make the choice. Are you ashamed or are you proud? That's what you want to say about America. Am I proud to be American? Or am I ashamed? And once you got that Answered, ladies and gentlemen, that question answered. Then you took care of you, you whatever it is, whatever you say you are. I am who I am, who I say I am. Then, then it goes down, boil down to what God say about you. Then you got the real answer. Because God is I am. Am I right? God is I am. What is the name? What is God's name? I am. That's his name. <laughs> so I want to thank you, Brother Keith, for chiming in with me today. Give me a chance to do a little preaching and teaching. It's been a pleasure talking to you. You have a great day, Mr. Keith. I'll talk to you soon. All right, big brother. All right, bro. What a great five days, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for allowing me to teach you on the five principles to international marketing. Hopefully you'll use this time in your life to change somebody else's time in their life. I want to say in advance that I am proud of you. I love you. I care about you. And I hope that every breath and every step you take is blessed beyond blessed. God has a blessing with your name on it. Name it and claim it. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. We're on the air 10 o'clock. 
The two o'clock will be open tomorrow. Come on in. God bless you.